What is up everyone? This is Absolute Zero here and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Maker 2. Today we're going to be doing a special level. A level that a lot of people probably expected me to do very early on but I decided to do the story mode first. And I pretty much owe the creator of this level a lot of... I guess the success that this channel has seen. And of course, he is known to have created some of the hardest levels that Super Mario Maker has ever seen. If you know who I'm talking about, you probably can't wait for this. So let's go ahead, put in the ID of the level, and see what level it is. And yes, I'm wearing Peach's outfit. I mean, look at it! Look at it! Look at that! It's so cute. Alright, right, right, right well, let's just enter this freaking ID I have here. Alright guys. Here it is, the pit of... Not Panga? Someone might have explained that one to me since I'm uncultured, but what is Papanga? Anyway, from what I could tell on Twitter or on YouTube, this is one of Panga's levels. That is Panga, I think. If I'm not mistaken, this is like one of his first levels. Let's just go ahead and see if that's true. He probably has many others now. Oh yeah, he has a lot of Streamlabs Surf? Oh, okay. He has a lot of levels already. I'm super late on everything, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and still play the first one here. Uh, has a clear rate of 0.03% more accurately. I actually calculated 0.0367% clear rate. So, not as low as like W break or U break, uh, but still not easy. And I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get through this either. I could probably look up a video of it and still not know how to beat it properly. But regardless, I'm gonna give it my best, or as best of a best I can get, to beat this level, and I'm probably not going to, but I'm still going to give it a try. If you guys want to give it a try, the course ID is on the screen, but let's get into it and see how much uh, I'm going to end up suffering very quickly. I don't expect to get very far again, it's going to be one of those levels, but I decided I have to do it because... Why wouldn't I? And I start, I'm probably dead. I just wanted to see if I- There's a clear condition of getting the 50 coin. Is it like right at the beginning? Oh, there's the first Kaizo block already. How, of course. Like, why- How could I not have expected that? What am I doing? Probably sliding. I, I'm gonna have to take some time to try and focus and see what I'm trying to do here. It, oh, there's the chopper down there. Okay, it's a lot of trial and error. It's gonna be a lot of trial and error. And I guarantee you, with the amount of time I have to make this video, I am not going to be able to finish this level. Maybe I'll revisit another time, let's say during a stream or something, and spend like 12 hours doing it and still failing. But at the very least, the purpose of this video is to visit it at least, knowing that I'm just simply not going to finish it. What?! Did I not start sliding? I'm so sure I started sliding. Also, that 50 coin's gonna be in a spot that's gonna piss me off, I know it. Oh my god, D does it show I still don't have mastery over my platforming skills? And, or lack thereof, I guess. I was supposed to spin jump that. Okay. I got five seconds, five game seconds into the level. I mean, that's something. I'm dead. I'm dead. Honestly, if I can even last 30 seconds into this level, I think I'll consider it a win temporarily until I actually give it a try. Like, on stream or something. Like, actually try to beat it. Which may take me a really long time. Oh my god, that guy's a block! That guy's a block! I- I'm too nervous to move forward, so I keep moving back, and I just kill myself on the muncher as a result. Oh my god. God! I have a feeling this video is gonna get boring really... Really fast. Really fast. I'm pretty sure it's boring already! Why am I doing this? I feel- I felt like I had to do it, and then I was like, I totally want to do it, and two minutes in, I'm like, no, I don't want to do this, and now I'm like, what do? I can't- I can't- I can't. I am so sure I start sliding. Did I not see a frame in which I had already started sliding? Oh, I need to spin jump. I need to remember to spin jump that. Oh, I did it. And... I don't know what to do after. 
Seriously, what am I supposed to do there? I don't think I have a proper angle to not hit myself in the spikes up there. Like, look at that! What am I... Am I supposed to stay on the left side and wait for it to swing on the right side? Is that a thing I can do? Yeah, I think I see it swinging back to the right side. I think that I, I, I have, I'm gonna have to give this a few tries. Oh! Oh! Ah! Another one! What? 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 No! I just ran myself into a spike again. Some things don't change. Some things after like four years just don't change. Where is this? How do I... What do? There's literally a Kaizo block in all of those areas. Oh, there's more than 150 coin. The condition never said to get all of them. It said to get one. So I just have to figure out which one I'm supposed to grab. And it's clearly not that one. Or at least it seems pretty clear to me it's not that one. Sorry guys, we're back to the usual dying for about 30 minutes or however long this video is. And honestly, if it's just me dying a lot, it's probably not going to be 30 minutes. So probably like 15. Maybe even 10. I don't know. You guys know. I don't know yet. Past zero doesn't know. Present zero probably knows. Future zero definitely knows. But it's the uh, current past future zero that knows. But future past zero won't know. But the present zero would know. No, the future present. Present future? Okay, so what am I... I'm not gonna lie, I all I had to do was hold the jump button. I got so scared of a Kaizo block that I didn't jump any higher, which just immediately killed me. That's the fear of Kaizo blocks, man. It kills you. If the Kaizo block doesn't kill you, the fear of it will. Was I... I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to jump on that cannonball, but for some reason it didn't happen fast enough? And I don't know why? Ugh. Huh. No! <laughs> there it was! There it was! I knew there was one there! I... I... What? Yes? No! No! <laughs> Don't grab it! I need to press on it! I... I think I just need to go to the right side and then come back and press on it or something. I don't know. All I know is that I need to not be holding the switch, the very switch I should be pressing on. Oh, that was close! Oh my god, we're going farther and I'm gonna die now. I'm alive. I'm alive. What's happening? What's happening? I... My brain froze and I had no idea what to do. Oh, I need to get rid of those blocks so the swamp continues. And then I guess I have to somehow press the P-switch with the twister. Oh, no, there's twister mechanics in this. Cool. I'm actually surprised I made it through this part the first time. Like, there were so many reasons for it to fail. No! No! Ah! He had to! He had to! Oh, you son of a... Ah, uh, son of a block. Two blocks got together, had a son, and they named him- they named him Kaizo. And thus, the Kaizo block was born. And... Cannonball to the face. Upwards cannonball to the face. I mean, all things considered, I think I'm making decent progress for the amount of time I'm spending on this level so far. Like that, like that, from the side, and died to the very thwomp itself! Wait, do I actually need that thwomp? I don't know what I need that thwomp for! 
pretty sure the twister can- I- I'm pretty sure the twister can get me to the P-switch, but just the very fact that it feels like I should be doing it means I should do it. Oh, but... I- I- I hope it doesn't- I- I hope I don't... I have trouble speaking right now. I am dead. I am dead. I took too long. I put two jumps on that shrimp. Wow, I called it a shrimp. Huh. Alright, Spikey, you are now a shrimp. Honestly, so far, as weird as it sounds, I may actually have fun com trying to complete this level on stream or something. Which makes me a complete masochist. No! No! Wait! No! What? Did the thwomp just press it? Because that would actually work! If the thwomp automatically presses it, I- I'm actually okay with that. Maybe I should just let the thwomp press it. I don't know. Oh lord, okay. Nah! It's so incredibly depressing to see that Kaizo block be hit by accident. Whoa! Whoa! That was close. That was extremely close. Ah! Whatever, I'm just gonna stay here for a bit. Ah, uh, the thwomp needs to push the on block. That's what it is! I'm gonna be very quickly running out of time for this video, but I do want to come back to this level as crazy as it sounds. Like, I, I have other videos I need to make for the rest of the week, but like... I'm actually having a lot of fun completing this level, as weird as it sounds. What am I doing? What am I doing? Just, just... Spin jump to the twister, get the P, get the P, um, and then get the thwomp to hit the on-off switch. And then leave the P behind. No, leave the P behind? Leave the twister behind. We don't need no twister. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, just stop listening to me. Oh god, the tip just killed me. Zero context. Ugh. Ugh. What is the- what is even the name of that enemy? Like, it's new to this game, right? And so far, I still haven't found out the name of that enemy. Or, if I'm supposed to know through story mode, I have completely forgotten. And now I feel bad for the guy. I mean, look at him! He looks so derpy and cute, but I have to kill him every time, just so I can get across. He sounds like another Yoshi. He sounds like another Yoshi. No, 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 what's over here? There's a claw. Huh. Okay. I don't know if I'll make it that far by the end of this video, but... No, why? I just... This is why I shouldn't talk while I'm playing this game. I just forget what I'm doing. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, no, no, no! It was supposed to be a spin jump. I thought I died, and I did die. I was right the first time. The longer I play, the more my skills deteriorate. Spin jump. I forgot to give myself momentum. I'm slowly figuring it out. And I'm sorry that it's taking so long. Actually, no! I take that back! I am not sorry! I am trying to learn to play this level, and obviously I was never going to finish it by the end of this video, and it's something I have to do on a, on a live stream, and take hours to do, and probably just try to practice it as much as I can, but I think that's something that could be very fun for all of us to do. Uh, if you like seeing me die for five hours, which wouldn't be the first time. No! No! Why? 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 Here's a spin jump! Just- just push the spin jump button! Not the B button! The R button! No, not now! That was dumb! That was dumb! Whoa, what?! I should I go on the twister or should I stay on the thwomp?
So the thing with making these videos is I have the pressure of trying to actually get farther as fast as I can so that I don't stagnate in one spot for too long and let it be so boring that I get another video with a 40% dislike bar and telling me how dumb I am at this game, which they're not wrong. Okay, obviously I can't spin jump on that. But you can tell how to how I would end up cracking on that under that pressure because because of deaths like these. But because I want to show that I can get better and better if I have enough time. But the problem is, I don't have that time. And I'm not about to make a five hour video on whether I can beat this level or not. That doesn't seem right. And I screwed up again. So, okay, it's, it's definitely, I have to spin jump on it. I just need to spin jump on it at the right height or something? No, I just need to make sure I push the R button again very, very, at the right time. At the, what, what, you, 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 you. You just stopped at the P switch. Wait, what? What? I just saw the twister get rid of my spin jump. And if it does that, that means I can't ride the thwomp. What? Okay, I have stuff I need to figure out here. And I'm out of time for this video, unfortunately. So I think that's gonna have to be it for today's video. At least we got a preview of what this first pit of papanga, pit of papanga, super skyzo. Uh, we got a taste of what it's like, and honestly, I actually really like it so far. Like, P-Break and U-Break and W-Break had, like, all these crazy Kaizo stuff to do, which I was never able to do with a good enough probability of succeeding that I could ever, ever hope to do those levels. But this one so far, if I can just figure out one thing at a time and be given the time to do it, I think I would end up enjoying beating it. Assuming that I can. I don't know if I actually can. For all I know, this level ends with a triple shell jump and I'm, that's where I give up. I don't know. And I know there are videos of people completing this level, but I kind of am refusing to watch those until I'm really stuck. So this is probably going to be one of those levels that I'm going to come back to. Not in a video, but I'll probably make it a live stream where I'm just going to take those couple of hours just trying to beat this level. So if you enjoy seeing me die all the time in this game, I guess those live streams are gonna be a treat for you. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, please hit that subscribe button just below the video. And don't forget to give this video a share for the world to see. But until that next video, my name's Absolute Zero, and always remember to keep it absolutely cool, everyone.